but we want to begin by reminding you that the universe doesn't hear what you say, the universe hears what you mean. So you want to find the feeling of what you're reaching for first. If you ask yourself about what it is you desire and you ask yourself, why is it that you want it? Looking for the emotional reasons for it. And then you just stay there in the feeling of those emotional reasons for a little while before you start focusing. That's a good way to get the momentum going in the right direction. And if you do that a little bit now and then a little bit later and a little bit later and a little bit later, you can accomplish quite a bit of momentum going in the direction of what you mean. And then what happens is when your habit of thought, which is what your belief system is, interferes with the momentum that you've begun deliberately, you can feel it. We used to say to our friends that the reason that we teach meditation is because it makes you more sensitive to your emotions. And so the reason that we teach focus wheels is because it makes you more sensitive to your thinking thoughts that are in opposition to what you really want. All of these are just focusing tools. We don't want you to get too carried away with it, you see. Do you believe, as we do, leading question, but do you believe from your own experience, has life shown you that unless you're th thinking a thought that is negative in nature, that the thoughts that you think are positive. Can you say that? This is an important question because some people can't say yes to that question. Some people would say, no, if I'm not deliberately trying, my mind wanders in negative places. So we're asking all of you to just contemplate for a moment. Do you think that, let's see, we'll put it in a blunt way. Do you believe that your beliefs are more serving you or not serving you? All of you think about that. Do you believe from the practice that you've done and the thoughts that you think? In other words, do you find yourself easily appreciating people and experiences and things? Do you find yourself easily looking for the best in things? Do you find the positive aspects are the things that you're more leaning toward mostly? Mostly. Well, if the answer to those questions is yes, 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 then you don't have any real work to do other than to be aware of when you're not doing that and then just cut it out. <laughs> you see what we're getting at? Now begin again with the question because you were a little strong and dark as you began it, like there was something that you really needed to fix. You don't feel that way now. So give it to us again. What is it that you're reaching for here in this co-creative conversation? I'm reaching for a more personal way for me personally to apply what you've been telling us because I found some resonance in this beginning in the morning finding the right place kind of thing but it so let us ask you some more questions do you ever get down the road with negative emotion and not know it no <laughs> do you find yourself ever just deep into negative emotion completely oblivious to how rotten you feel <laughs> or are you aware so now the next question is why are you willing to put up with not feeling good Mostly because there's some kind of schedule or something I think What's I that have got to, to do, do with anything? Can't you feel good on your way to a schedule? Can't you feel good on your way to other things? Are you I saying that there are conditions in which you just cannot feel good? Conditions in which I feel that it's more difficult to feel good than in others. Of course, but that wasn't our question. Our question was, are there conditions in which you can find nothing to feel good about? I think there's one or two where I can't find anything yet to feel so good And are about. they conditions that you can't avoid? Do they follow you everywhere you go? Or are they present in your experience? It's conditions that I've tried to avoid and I've had some success with that. But then sometimes they tend to get reactivated by something I hear. So how is this attempt at being the anomaly in the universe working out for you. <laughs> Trying to get away from something. How's this exercise in exclusion working? 
I live in a universe based on attraction and I'm focused upon that thing that I'm trying to stay away from. How's that working? Let's put it another way. I've, yeah, I've been would. trying to, <laughs> to focus on other things that made me feel good. But that isn't what you said. Okay. That isn't what you said and that isn't what you meant. It's what you mean now. Okay. Everyone relates. And that really is the point that we are making mm -hmm. is that you can't get there from there. There's still a belief within you that you can avoid something. Well, you can't avoid it. It just comes closer. When you identify something that you want to avoid, you activate it in your vibration and it just shows up and shows up and shows up until it gains momentum. So how do you avoid unwanted things? You just told us, but say it again. I'm trying to focus on something else. Focus on something that you do want. And so now we want, now we're going to ask you the question and it's not a trick question. Well, a little tricky. <laughs> how do you avoid, how do you avoid something that you don't want? By focusing upon something that you do want. Is, is that a hard thing to focus upon what you want? Is that hard? It is if there's momentum going, but why is there momentum going? Because there are some beliefs. Because you've been doing it. Mm. Because you've been doing it. So I can't stop doing this thing that I've been doing because there's momentum. And it's harder for me to start doing that other thing because I've got this other momentum. Of course it's harder, but can you do it? Do you have the ability to focus? Do you have the ability to focus or don't you? That really is what it comes down to. Do you have the ability to focus or don't you? So if you've got the ability to do something that's hard to do, if it's hard to do, you know you can do it, but it's hard to do, then what's your nature? If something's hard to do, what usually happens to you? I don't want to do it. You try harder. You try <laughs> harder. But what does trying harder do when what's really active in you is something that you don't want? This is what's going wrong for most of you. In other words, you're operating from old premises of effort and action that don't apply relative to vibration and point of attraction. This is a universe that's based on attraction. Where does that leave you? So you're not where you want to be. You are where you don't want to be, let's say. And so you decide that you're just going to get over there to where you want to be. So you're offering action. So you're picking up this stick that has this subject on it. But what end of the stick are you vibrating on? Usually are you vibrating on the end of what you want or in this effort action mode that you're in? Are you trying to get rid of something or trying to avoid something that you do not want? Can you feel how the laws of the universe are sort of defeating you in your purpose because you're utilizing the law of attraction in a counter productive way so we're just wanting to make this really obvious that trying harder is not the answer so if there's something that you want and trying harder isn't the answer then what is the answer relaxing trying less hard <laughs> that's why we call it the path of least resistance is the path of least resistance is the path of letting your natural resources carry you to where you want to be so what kinds of words could you say to yourself what kinds of things could you say if you saw someone trying too hard and you wanted them to not try so hard because you could see that the harder they tried the worse it was going for them what kinds of things would you want to offer to them would your intention be to antagonize them into more effort would your intention be to motivate them into better action so what would your intention be to soothe them what kind of things would you say to someone, maybe even yourself, who was trying too hard? What kind of things would soothe in a condition like that? Relax, you'll be all right. It's all right. What else? You'll get there eventually. Pretty good. What else? There's probably a solution to this. Pretty good. What else? The solution is in you. You just have to allow it. Now we're feeling a little more effort in this conversation than is really good for you, which okay. is not surprising because that's sort of the momentum you've got going. So try to take the effort out of this conversation that you are giving to yourself. Try to try less. <laughs> Oh, so what? <laughs>
<laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. I am where I am. It's all right. No big deal. It's okay. It's all right. What else? It's all right. Relax. Just allow. Eventually a thought is going to come that is going to feel better. <laughs> because right now I'm not feeling... I can't really think any thought, which is quite all right as well. <laughs> Not good? <laughs> it's really good. Tired of shitting myself in the foot. It's gonna be all right. There's nothing to do right now. Just give it a rest. Nothing to do right now. Now you're focused a little bit. You can start using stronger words like all really as well. And I know I've put things in my vortex. And I know that source is on my side. And I know that things are lining up. Now we're gaining a little momentum, aren't we? Get a little more specific with the thoughts that you're thinking. But you brought yourself completely to a place of non-resistance. We felt it, didn't you? She was in a place of complete giving up of effort and action. You are no longer trying to fight against anything. You're just sort of resigned, just sort of whole and pure and open and easy about it. And so now you can begin gaining a little momentum it's all right and I'll figure it out and my vortex is full of what I want and it's coming together and the energy is flowing and as you said it was really good eventually I'll begin perceiving impulses and ideas when that begins it will feel really good to me and until then all is well I'm waiting for the impulse it's a nice place to be trusting that it's coming eager for it to come anticipating that it will come doesn't matter when it comes I know it is coming it is inevitable it is completely logical I've been here before no big thing easy unfolding comfortable becoming everything's all right I'm right on track nothing needs to be done I'm not being tested it's just a matter of figuring out what I want I'm figuring out what I want I know what I want I know I want to feel good. I know I like to be clear. I like the feeling of energy moving. I like the ease of non-resistance. I like the state I'm in. I can feel I've really accomplished what I meant to accomplish. I've created an atmosphere around me that's conducive to receiving good ideas. The ideas are flowing. The realization is coming stronger. It doesn't have to come this red hot minute. This has been good work. This is the best use of my time that I could have offered good for me I'm in a good spot this feels really good I love where I am I like what's coming all is well that's not hard is it it's not hard you just have to remember what you're going for you don't want to be working against the natural laws of the universe you see and every time you feel like you got to try harder even if it's doing a process better you got resistance going on that's working against you you see so what are we talking about we're talking about accepting your own value your own worthiness accepting that when you got here it was all flowing to you and through you no longer defending or justifying or rationalizing or proving anything to anybody just being in this state of receiving it's this state of recognizing the fullness of this moment in time it's this convergence of you and you that's what the realization is Esther wants to find the word revelation but the word revelation isn't quite right it's the realization of the revelation because the revelation is always being offered to you it's you putting yourself into a place where you can receive or realize it you see 